Hey Measuring Hero, Jay here. The world of surface roughness can be really confusing for a coordinate metrologist. So today, uh, we've come to the Zeiss Quality Excellence Center in Osfeldung, Osfeldung, uh, to speak to Hannes, uh, to have him answer some questions for us. Hannes, thanks for your time. Hello, Jay. Uh, okay, our first question for you is, what is surface finish? Surface finish is, um, you have normally a complete surface. Uh, let's have a look on our poster. You have a complete surface where you can exclude um, the different type of roughness, waviness and form parameters. So that means you have a trace profile like this here. So, and with different filtering settings, you can make a waviness profile or roughness profile or maybe a form profile. So that means you exclude from waviness the roughness uh, uh, or the form and from roughness profile you exclude the wavinesses so that you have the uh, possibility to analyze different types of wavelengths. Okay, so through filtering you can basically extract from a, a, a trace uh, roughness versus waviness or vice versa. Yes. Okay, okay. Um, uh, next question. Um, we've seen, uh, some customers will see normally an RA or an RZ value um, and it's usually just a number. Uh, can you explain what that is, how it's calculated? Of course I can do. Let's have again a look on our poster. Um, here you see our RA and RZ. So that means um, for RA, um, we have a um, profile like you see here. With this profile, we have a middle line generated. So from this middle line, we look for all upper points and make a, again an average. And then the next time we go from middle line to the lower points and make again an average. And the distance between the upper and lower average line will be our A parameter. So with our set parameter, it's a little bit simpler. We have again our profile, then we have a middle line, and from this middle line, we look for the highest peak and the lowest uh, depths, and the distance between peak and valley will be our set parameter. Okay, so RZ is literally just peak to valley, uh, whereas RA is a uh, uh, midline to the top average uh, and bottom uh, bottom average, that's yes. RA. Yes. Okay, that's that's clear. Um, we've also, I've had some customers uh, tell me that it is uh, somehow possible to measure an RA or an RZ value with a 25 micron styli. Is this at all possible? No, that's not possible. Uh, we have a clearly defined ISO standard in that case. That means, um, I talked before about uh, filtering. So we use normally a standard filter, lambda C. And for different filters, we have also the possibility to use different starter steps. So, but not 25 microns, it's normally by standard uh, lambda C between two or five microns, but not 25. That's a too big mechanical filtering for roughness finish. So that means you were getting some results, but not the real ones. Okay, okay. So, so the filter, the, 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 it might be physically possible to get uh, a trace at 25 microns, but the filters you use uh, just won't work for them. Not the filters. The uh, algorithms. Yes, of course. Algorithm. Okay, okay. So it's, it's algorithm-based. Uh, uh, yes. That you should use smaller two smaller micron tips. or four, four microns. Okay. That is clear. Um, okay, there's a lot of machines around. Can we have a look at? Of course, please. Okay, perfect. <laughs>